So Courtney, do you like chocolate pudding? I love chocolate pudding. <laughs> no kidding. Well, my husband Paul loves chocolate pudding too. Have you ever looked on the back of a box of chocolate pudding? I don't think so. It's kind of alarming. Well, stay tuned because we can do this for four ingredients. Hi, I'm Debbie. Welcome to my kitchen, the home of Almost Vegan Cooking School. Chia pudding is just something fun to make. It's short and sweet. I'm going to be adding one half cup of chia seeds, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, unsweetened, or cacao powder, either one will work in this recipe, and I have one tablespoon of agave. Now depending on your plant-based milk, if you have unsweetened, you may want to add two tablespoons, but I kind of go with the one. And I have two of unsweetened almond milk, and I'm going to whisk this all up, and that's it. And those chia seeds add a lot of nutrition to this dessert. They add a punch of omega-3s, fiber, protein, antioxidants. So once we have it all incorporated, I'm just going to ladle this and put it into individual servings and put it in the refrigerator um, at least six hours or overnight. Now, Debbie, one of my daughters really prefers vanilla pudding. Wow, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Let me show you how simple it is to do a vanilla version. First of all, I'm going to take another half a cup of chia seeds, and this time I'm going to add some xylitol, two teaspoons or a tablespoon, depending on um, your level of sweetness, and a tiny bit of vanilla. Half a teaspoon is really about all it takes and another two cups of plant milk. We're gonna whisk this all together and this is our vanilla version. Now in this case, um, instead of doing an individual serving, we're going to make a nice big bowl of vanilla pudding with all kinds of fruit and let that set and firm up in the refrigerator. I've never worked with xylitol before. Um, if we don't have that on hand, is there another sweetener we can use? Yes. Actually, I learned about xylitol by reading Dr. Uh, Michael Greger's book. This is just an alternative um, to sugar. It's a one-to-one -one replacement, uh, low glycemic index. If, you're, if you have diabetic issues, it might be something that you would want to investigate. But you can use any kind of sweetener that you have in the pantry. We're using such small amounts, maple syrup, a pinch of stevia, uh, coconut sugar agave. And for either version. Yes, for version, either right? version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Lots of alternatives. The next thing we have that beautiful bowl of fresh fruit. I'm just going to pour our vanilla chia pudding on top and let that set. So we have a few ideas for you on how to enjoy this chia pudding throughout the week. You can pick up little jam jars like this and do individual servings, stack them up in the refrigerator, and it's a great snack for after school or any time you need a little bit of nourishment throughout the day because it's very satisfying. And I've topped these with all kinds of things, chocolate chips, raspberries, blackberries, coconut, even, um, Peanut butter with chocolate pudding is a wonderful combination, or bananas. And over here, well, this is another fun alternative. This is some matcha pudding. Matcha is a green tea powder, and we will show you how to make a matcha pudding and even a banana pudding, another favorite, in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this cooking class as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. This cooking school came to be because there is so much good news to share about a plant-based diet. Become a part of our cooking school 